Hey, what is up guys? VWSV Nexus here. Today showing you how to create your own custom carrier logo for your iDevice. Um, you will need Adobe Photoshop Touch and you'll also need iPhone. But before we begin, you'll need to download a picture that you want to use. So I'm going to download this moon right here and just click and hold on it to save the picture. And just to show you, it is in my camera roll. Yep. Okay, now what you're going to do, you need to go to Adobe Photoshop and open up the picture. So, yep, just going to let this load. Uh, okay, once it's loaded, um, click on the plus sign at the bottom and open up the picture. And then I'm just going to edit a little bit by cropping out the white part. And, uh,. Okay, it's going to take too long to edit, so I'm just going to fast forward it right here. Okay, once I'm done, uh, what you need to do, you need to save it as a PNG file to your camera roll. Once you've saved it, just make sure it is. Go into your camera roll, and yeah, okay, now you need to copy that picture that you just edited. You need to copy that. And then go back into Adobe Photoshop and create a blank document. And I'm going to create it 40 by 40, which is most pictures will fit that perfect. But if it doesn't, you'll have to play around with it and create new documents. But most work with 40 by 40. And then click at the top and paste in the picture you copied. Okay, and then click Done and save it. And then save that one you just made to your... Oh, sorry. Save it to your camera roll as a PNG file. Make sure you change it to PNG. Once you've done that, you can exit out of Photoshop and go into iFile. Now in iFile, um, you need to go to, I made um, bookmarks of the places you need to go to, but go to Media DCIM 100 Apple and you should bookmark it and name it Pictures because this is where your pictures are at. Go to the very bottom and it should be the one on the very bottom. Just make sure and then get out of that and copy that picture and then go back home and in your documents I recommend you create a Zeppelin folder right there that's where you can edit all your ones you're creating and then create a new folder and name it whatever you want this one name is uh, test one or two or one yeah and then go into the folder you just created and paste the picture and three times but you'll need to rename it so you need to rename it all lowercase black okay yeah at 2x if you have a retina display eye device you put at 2x if you don't just put black dot png but put black at 2x dot png and then paste it again the same exact picture and do silver at 2x dot png all lowercase then edit paste it again and then create etched dot or etched at 2x dot png so do that three times with black etched and silver then go back click edit and copy and paste that into the zeppelin folder it's i'll create a bookmark but you need to go home then go all the way back to the dash go to library and scroll down to zeppelin and that's where all of the all of them go and then just paste it in there and you've just created your own carrier logo just to prove it I'll go to settings and go down to Zeppelin once it loads and click on it and it should be called test and there it worked it looks okay I mean I was just doing this in a hurry so but there you go you successfully created your own carrier logo and you can do this when any picture so I mean the possibilities are pretty endless um, that's pretty much it guys if you have any questions comments criticisms concerns just ask and have a great day